Am I a conformist? Sure, I've conformed to a lot of things. For example, I've conformed to Walmart and, on occasion, American Eagle. Let's face it, Walmart is the only store that sells clothes that will willingly conform to my body. I've also conformed to Sonoma's at $4 a pack because camel number nines are too expensive to conform to on a daily basis. When I was in my early teens, I conformed to nonconformist, and to let everyone know of my decision, I conformed to Hot Topic. That was a very short-lived conformity. My mom told me she was Republican, so I conformed to that. And my dad told me he was Democrat, so I reconformed to that. Then I realized I didn't have a clue what was going on on either side, so I conformed to not caring. I tried to conform to football once, and decided I don't even like football. So after that, I tried to conform to golf, but that just made me conform to cussing too much. Finally, I conformed to a fat man sport. So now I conform to the shirts of my bowling team, the Colors of Conformity, which we bought at Walmart. I conformed to fast food for a while, but that made me sick. Not disgusted, just made my stomach conform to being physically ill. Thrice I've tried conforming to chocolate. I'm not sure how you chocolate conformists can do it. All hail vanilla. And just between you and me, I also conformed to peanut butter. I conformed to rap, rock, blues, jazz, big band. Probably just easier to say that I've conformed to music. Granted, I'm still on the fence about a select few genres. Maybe someday, country, but not today. I conformed to etiquette, not to say I never was, but I've heard stories of my early childhood, when my little fists often conformed to my siblings' friends' testicles. Needless to say, I've changed my outlook on that conformity. So I guess the big picture here is simple. I've conformed to conforming. And now that this poem is finished, I think I'll go conform to sleeping. Good night.